all right guys so today i'm going to teach you guys what i do for my bachata remixes um i was getting a lot of comments que oh you don't want to help nobody out que el otro, you're being stingy or whatever mira i made this tutorial because as i said i am not teaching people how to do everything one-to-one -one. you know you need to bring your own creativity but i'll give you the the necessary knowledge in order to create your own remixes right Okay, so I have this Havana remix that I'm making. I'll, I'll release this soon. And the first step I did was create a guitar track using VSTs. Voilà. Using a, a, a VST guitar, and it sounds like this. All right. Um. You see? Entonces, so that's just the guitar part that I created, right? Um, as I said, um, not gonna teach you guys everything. For example, how to create this guitar part. That's all music theory you can search that up or i can also make a separate tutorial on music theory because that in of it is in of it itself is a huge video to make but um after that did the bass right and then what type of what type of bachata is there with no segunda guitar right so i put in the segunda And to together, they sound like this. Right. Something simple. Now, it's not mixed. I'll tell you that. This is not mixed. This is just, you know, a, a, te a template, you know? Then after I recorded the actual guitars, y suena un poquito así. Now, as you can see, <laughs> the guitar sounds horrible only because I do not know how to play guitar. Literally, I do not know how to play. But the magic of, you know, FO Studio is that you don't have to know how to play guitar really well. I, I, I created the things individually, then put them together. For example, um, this cortico right here. Vamos, let's go into the, this chorus, right? right now you have to know what you're bad at right so what i recommend well what you have to do if you want to like follow my steps is get a guitar first right this guitar i have right here cost me 25 dollars on craigslist right you don't need nothing big to start off like me i'm starting out um it plays good right all the pickups work Right, it's not no Ibanez or Yamaha APX, which is what guitar on um, bachata bachata guitar is used, but it does the trick, you know. So, okay, you have your guitar. You need to have an audio interface to connect to the guitar. I have here a, a Behringer. Let me see if I can put this in the camera. I have the camera hooked up to my guitar, but it's a it's a Behringer. Remember, see so cool there. Up, let me. Tilt this bad boy up. It's a Behringer, right? Something simple. Has two inputs, one XLR, one quarter, one quarter inch. I have my mic set up for now, and then I have the the guitar for the quarter inch, right? Um, cost me what? Twenty, thirty bucks? I think thirty bucks, forty bucks. Cheap interface. 
Later on down the line, you can upgrade to a Scarlet. If you have the money now, get a Scarlet now. Um, and that's basically all you need. That's all you need. Okay, so back to the remixing. So we have this. Right? So when I start playing, right? No. Right? That's the first chord. Right? Now, my issue is I have trouble switching. Right? My switching is not on point. So what I do is I record the first part. Right? And then I record the second part. And then I put them together. As you can see here, I recorded them separately. I have this part here. Right? And then when you put in this, oh, and this is the second part. Right? And then when you put them together, sound like this. But it's all parts, it's segments. Like for example, you have an artist singing. The artist is not gonna record everything on one take. Probably in the beginning, so you can have stuff to work with, but when you start focusing onto the verse, the intro, the chorus, you have them record that in parts. You choose the best part and then you put that in. You know what I mean? So same thing goes with a guitar. If 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 you have problem hitting a certain lick, like for example, I had a problem doing right. You well, I I had problem don't switching it because in the song it's right. So what I did was I created, I, I recorded the first part, right, and then I recorded this part. And then I just put them together, same way as I did as I did earlier. Um, this little lick, I came in. Now I forgot. Something like that. But I, I really don't, I don't remember it because I recorded it like a week or two ago. And that's another thing. These remixes take time, especially when you're starting out. This will take time because you don't know this stuff. It's new to you. Um, Like I started out just having the VSTs and just calling it a day. But if you want more, you know, high grade production stuff, you need to start, you know, doing what it is because remember the whole point of a bachata remix is we're gonna turn a song that is not bachata into a bachata and the bachata you hear on on the radios these days is not with vsts it's someone in the recording studio recording everything right you know next up buy a bass get your own bass then get some bongos record your own bongos blah 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 some violin get your own you know have your own taste you're a producer you know what i mean ah my name is dj rudder that's because I, I i was a dj back then but I'm I'm more focused now on the production, remixing, composing side. You know what I mean? Um, but that's that's basically it. It's just that's the trick now. Is you have to record your own instruments. The whole music theory concept that's really hard to to learn. I'm not gonna lie. 
it's not impossible, but it's really hard. But once you know, you know, the chords. Once you know the chords and you know how the capo affects, you know, it's pretty, it's, you know, kind of easy. Like, for example, with, with, with Raulin, right? Right? This is all just chords. And if you learn that, the segunda is going to be easy. Now, segunda is something I'm having real tough time with because I, I, I can't play segunda well, which is something I'm learning so that I can release this remix. So stay tuned for this remix, though. Havana is going to come out fire. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. Um, but other than that, yeah, just a little quick tutorial on on just getting started with remixing and if you really just if you don't have the time or the money to get a guitar interface blah 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 I think a lot you don't need all that either I started with just VSTs do your VSTs understand how mixing mastering and all of these elements work and once you do have the time or the money to invest into a recording setup you'll be fine you'll it's, it'll be an easy transition because all you're gonna have to learn is how to actually play the instrument and not oh how do i record this good or how this how that you know what i mean if you have someone who plays guitar invite them over be like hey can you record something real quick for me right and all you have to worry about is learning how to you know edit everything and maybe all you have to do is get an audio interface because someone else already plays like for example me i don't know anybody who plays so i have to learn myself but other than that, just get your foot wet and remixes are just a step away. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, comment down below what next tutorial you guys want to see on these bachata remixes because I enjoy making them a lot, a lot, a lot. But yeah, take care.